Hey friends, Tux here. I wanted to do a quick little video of my Christmas haul 2023. And this video is a long time in the making. I was having some problems with the camera, so I apologize. It's going up a little bit later than I wanted. But here goes, guys. Let's just kind of plow through these real fast. Um, first off, we have a Nintendo shirt. This is kind of a, a who's who of Mario Brothers. Kind of reminds me of something you'd see like in science class with different like elements, that kind of thing. Very cool. Love the fact it has all the different characters. Um, nice, nice shirt. Um, so I'll definitely be wearing this quite a bit. Very cool. Um, next off, I found a lighter. How weird. <laughs> I got a candle that is not in this box, but that was what the lighter was for. Uh, next up is a Asian head massager. This is kind of a gag gift a little bit. I don't know if you've seen these before. You have to kind of rub them on your scalp and it kind of rubs you from all sides. Um, just kind of a cute little funny little uh, stocking stuffer. It's a scalp massager. So very cool. <laughs> Continuing on, uh, Paramount Plus had a new Beavis and Butthead, uh, which was pretty good actually I enjoyed it so um, I got a Beavis and Butthead t-shirt um, I don't know if you remember them from the 80s or the new Beavis and Butthead but um, cool show funny um, Daria came from it um, definitely something worth checking out if you're unfamiliar um, good times so kind of a cool t-shirt I thought was interesting how they have kind of a Death Leopard or Winger type font and of course on a show they made fun of Winger like all the time pretty much to the despise of the band falling apart so very funny but Beavis and Butthead Continuing on, we have another t-shirt here. Um, this one was a surprise. I didn't expect to get like an anime shirt, but I got a One Piece shirt. Um, I did enjoy the Netflix show quite a bit. So if you're not familiar, that's something we're checking out on Netflix. Uh, live action One Piece. Of course, the regular anime is awesome too. Um, I tend not to watch like long serial animes that have like hundreds and hundreds of episodes with the exception of Pokemon probably. Um, so I really haven't watched all of the anime One Piece, but the live action One Piece I did enjoy a lot. And sooner or later, I'll probably check out the anime too because the live piece was so good. So anyway, very cool stuff. Continuing on, we got a little Pokemon plushie here. We have an Eevee with a bow. Yeah, so very cute little Eevee. Maybe we'll get some Eevee evolutions down the road, like the little puffy tail. Very cute. God, I love Eevee. All-time fan favorite, I'm sure. Uh, looking in the box here, all sorts of crazy stuff going deep. We have a little Mario mushroom. These are usually filled with candy, so I'll open that later. We have some Pocky. You never can go wrong with Pocky. We got cookies of cream and strawberry. So very cool. We have a figure here. This is Fortnite. I was told this was given to me because uh, the alien just looked cool. So uh, I don't really play Fortnite a whole lot. I've played it before, but it's not like one of my uh, top games by any means. Um, but just the alien was pretty awesome. So they got me a Fortnite action figure. Very cool. Continuing on, we have a Zelda figure. Very nice. You guys know I love the new Zelda, Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. So kind of cool. We got Link here in the blue outfit. Not to be confused with Zelda, but um, it is part of the Zelda series, Link. So very nice. Continuing on, let's see here. We have a pop. We have a Doctor Strange pop, one of my favorite uh, Marvel MCU characters. So very cool. I've enjoyed a lot of the um, Doctor Strange movies. They've all been pretty decent. So I'd say it's definitely one of my favorite uh, characters. So very nice. And continuing on, we have a little Nintendo keychain. Uh, very cool. Looks like that classic NES controller. Very cool. Kind of a plastic clip there, so this could be used as like a, a backpack hanger or something too. Just a nice little Nintendo, a little nod to Nintendo. Um, here we have a Lamborghini um, car. You guys know that I'm into little model cars, and of course I'm into real sports cars too. And uh, one of my, I have had several Corvettes, and I love Corvettes, but it's always on my bucket list to maybe someday buy a Lamborghini, you know? So that is on my list, something, it'd be really a nightmare to repair Lamborghini on the island, but um, you know what? Key West keeps getting more rich, rich type people moving here, so maybe we'll have our Lamborghini dealer someday. So, very cool stuff. Uh, continuing on, we have a couple more pops here. We have a uh, Boba Fett Christmas pop. This is like very glittery. Look at the like the snowfall, uh, like shimmering white effect on that. Very cool. Love the Boba Fett snowman number 558. All right, continuing on, we have another pop here. Uh, this is General Grievous, so one of the cooler Star Wars figures, and he's uh, dual wielding some lightsabers, so very cool. I like that. I, I hope there'll be more Star Wars in 2024. Um, I like Star Wars a lot. I, I still do, and I really would welcome more Star Wars stuff, so hopefully they'll continue on. 
And let's see what else we got here. We have a mini arcade game. You guys know I love these little handhelds. And this one looks like it is pretty awesome with some different games built into it. A three inch display, 200 games. Uh, looks like we've got some classic arcade games and maybe some like little knockoffs. Join 200 classic games and a compact light uh, fig uh, co uh, controller unit. Looks like kind of like a classic um, Game Boy but it's a little bit smaller and thinner as you can see. So we'll open this up in a future video for sure and we'll show off the games in it. And then we also have something we'll be opening in the future here. This is a Pokemon Eevee Evolution Elite Trainer Box. So, you know, these boxes are always a good value, a lot of fun. You get a whole bunch of cards, you get some sleeves, you get dice, you get flippers, all sorts of cool stuff. Um, eight packs of cards in there and 65 sleeves, 45 energy cards, everything you need. So if you're ever thinking about playing Pokemon, um, this is a great way to start getting one of these like elite trainer boxes and there's all sorts of different ones you can get and it's just it's a really good way to go so it's always fun to see what's in here and i almost always pull some really cool cards in these elite trainer boxes so it's well worth the money okay continuing on i got this little cool little case here it's like a little plastic lock box and inside here there's a whole bunch of cool little gifts um, we'll check it out here we have a little mystery squishy so very cool uh, squishables like the little cat ears uh, definitely a lot of fun we have a few international candies a pineapple coconut candy wow that looks good i'm gonna definitely eat that later looks super yummy and speaking of super yummy we have a big big mixed bar here this is another international candy looks like it's got lots of seeds and stuff in it nuts raisins honey all sorts of good stuff there. that should be yummy if you ever had those let me know uh let's see what else we got we have a little star wars mystery ornament so this is something we could use for the tree here in fact you know what let's go ahead and just open this up and we will put this on the tree later since we still i have my tree up and i probably have my tree up for a little bit longer yet but that way i can pack this away with uh, the christmas stuff from this year let's see here how does this open up looks like a big question mark very cool um let's see we'll try and how does this open oh i see wow that's really interesting how it pops open like that i guess once you break it open it's 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 open oh there we go all right so our first mystery ornament for star wars is this very cool looking uh, little snow trooper and so very nice it has a little string with it and everything so that can go right onto the tree so that's looking good um this is actually wow that it feels it feels ceramic, but I have to say it's probably plastic. It just has a cool, like, ceramic ornament feel. So, very cool. We'll pop that in the tree, and next year we'll pull it out again for Star Wars Christmas 2024. And let's see what else we got. Looks like we have another one of these ornaments. We'll open up this one, too, and check it out. Maybe we got one of the good guys, since we got the bad guy last time. Let's see here. Maybe a Darth Vader. Who could it be? Let's see here. Big mystery. What could it be? We'll pop this open too. Kind of an interesting, really interesting case. Oh my gosh, that thing just flew. Oh my gosh. Oh, let me get this off the floor. This is cute. Be right back. So here it is, guys. It was an adorable little Ewok flying across the screen as I tried opening it. It has a little smiley face on it. Very cute. This will definitely be something I'll put in the tree. You guys know I don't mind Ewoks. I know some people in Star Wars fan number like Ewoks are terrible. They ruined the movie. Um, I think they're pretty cute. So I'm, I'm definitely down with the cuteness and uh, I'll definitely put that in the tree. Very cute little Ewok. And with the Ewok song was that what what da -da -da, what what like. I, I like Ewok, so anyway, I'll put that down. I'll stop, I'll stop. Um, let's see what else we got. We have a mystery truck here. Um, I will save this for a future video, but it looks like it is some kind of SUV or something. Looks cool, and it looks like we got two of those little mystery trucks. There we go, another one, driven. And road to the goal. Okay, so very cool. Looks like this one could be a Jeep or like some kind of, maybe like a military vehicle or something. Very cool. And then we got some little Matchbox cars here. We have a C8 Corvette. Very nice, little C8 Corvette. Right guys, um, you guys know I have, if you watch my Tux Reviews channel, you'll see a lot of videos with my car. I have, I bought a new C7 Corvette this year, 2023. Um, or new to me, it was like one owner, um, very cool. Corvette uh, convertible, which is my first convertible one, which I was kind of debating with the C8. Here's an older one. This is looks like a C. Is that a C2? No, no, no. C3. Th C3 for sure. Um, 
with the convertibles, you lose a lot of trunk space, and I wasn't sure if I liked that, so I got a convertible this time to see if I miss the trunk space or not. Here's a Z car, this is a 2023 Nissan Z. I've seen one of these for the first time in real life just a few weeks ago. Love the tail lights, the back looks really good. The front, I'm not so sure about these lights, these, these kind of like overall kind of almost a complete oval lights. Um, it looks a little weird in real life, I'll be honest with you. Um, but the car had made a great sound actually, and it was pretty peppy for being a six cylinder, although I'm sure I could beat it in my C7 Corvette. And finally here, one more Corvette. Here is a convertible. This is very much like mine, uh, though mine is a metallic gray, and this one is, of course, torch red. So that is a conver convertible Z06 uh, C7 Corvette. So very cool stuff. Love Corvettes. Um, I was never much of a Corvette guy, to be honest with you, and then I got my first C7, and I just I love the C7 cars. And the older ones are cool, too, don't get me wrong, but I'm kind of partial to the C7, and I might get a C8 down the road. We'll see. All right, next up. Something else I got was this really cute little Baby Yoda with candy canes. So a really cute little plushie, official Star Wars plushie. Looks great. I love the fact that he's got some little candy canes with him. So very cute. We also got this little Donkey Kong set here with a very masculine looking Donkey Kong with bananas intact. Yeah, so very cool. Love the DK little tie there. I may do unboxing of this down the road, but really cool little collectible. I love Nintendo stuff. And of course, we got a Pokemon. Yes, we do. <laughs> it's very cool. We got this is like one of those corduroy ones. So it has a really unique texture. So I'm definitely digging that. Got the official seal there. Very good stuff. And uh, of course, this is Charmander uh, looking good. And definitely that corduroy thing is really cool. So nice little extra addition to my Pokemon plushie collection. A long-running Nintendo game I love is Animal Crossing, so I was really psyched to get this Animal Crossing Pez Dispenser with Tom Nook here, featuring some candies too, so really cool. I hope they make a new Animal Crossing coming up down the road. One of my all-time favorite games, if you've never played it, I highly recommend it. And of course, we know Rosie is the best villager, so... Okay, we got some channel and kind of unchannel stuff here. Uh, first off, we have some uh, drying towels. And of course, having a Corvette, I never wash it in a machine, car wash or whatever. It's always hand washed, hand polished. So um, nice, I can always use extra towels. These look really nice and big and thick. It's like two-sided, I guess it's two towels. So I think this would be really useful in drying the C7 Corvette. So loving that. And then inside the box here, we have a whole bunch of games actually. So. Let's check out these video games. Um, I got Starfield. I, I'll admit I have played this since I got it. This is like the first game I started, I dove into playing. Um, really cool. It starts out kind of like Doom, and then it goes into something different. But so far, I'm having a lot of fun. And uh, this has been a game which I would recommend to people, for sure. Uh, continuing on, I've heard great things about Jedi Survivor from EA. I'm looking forward to playing this. Looks like a very cool game. And then we have, let's see what else. The Camcom fight, Fighting Collection. You guys know I like Neo Geo and Camcom games, that kind of thing. And this is like a really nice collection of a whole bunch of games. It looks like it has, what, three, seven, ten games, ten classic titles. So, uh, including like Street Fighter 2 and all sorts of different cool ones. So, I'm um, definitely looking forward to checking that out. And we always have a little thing in this house about who's the best, like, gamer for fighters. And sometimes I win, sometimes I don't, but we'll see. Um, last Starfighter, we got the Blu-ray edition. Classic, like, cool 80s game. I guess it kind of fits the Starfield kind of theme to it. It's my, I think, one Blu-ray this year. And we got and, uh, Need for Speed Unbound. I've heard really good things. In fact, several of you, uh, my my like YouTube list I view, got this, or Facebook groups got this for Christmas. So I'm looking forward to checking this out. Need for Speed's always a good time. I really loved uh, the last one, Most Wanted, or going back a couple was Most Wanted. And um, I'll, in general, I've liked Need for Speed since the original you know, NES 1, the original NES. So um, definitely a cool system uh, and definitely a cool game. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1, this is a new one. Um, this looked really cool, and I'm really excited to play this. I'm still kind of playing Starfield, but I need to get on this because I actually I gave this to someone in my house, and I'm anxious to fight her and see who is the better Mortal Kombat fighter, and I need to get my moves and my combos down to beat her because she's very good. All right, continuing on, we got a little Switch game here, Pikachu Returns. Yeah, so uh, Pikachu, Detective Pikachu, um, definitely look forward to playing that. Love the Pokemon games, very cool. And then we have a mystery game here, uh, Tribes of Midgard. I, I haven't played this, but I have heard of this. It's a PS4 game with a PS5 upgrade available. Um, looks very interesting. Um, definitely checked out kind of some R 
uh, like RPG action there. So very good. I do collect all systems, including older, older systems. I do have a PS4 always hooked up to my main TV and a PS5 hooked up to my main TV and an Xbox X and an Xbox Project Scorpio and uh, mostly last two generations hooked up to my main TV at all times. And I have a lot of classic games too. You guys know I love classic titles. So um, any, I'm always welcome to all game systems. But very cool. And then also in here is a Mario play set here with some cool little Mario stuff. I gave the gift to Mario and I, I received the giveth thou shall receive it as well. So we got Mario here and uh, Mushroom and of course my favorite Toad. Uh, when I went to Universal Studios after BlizzCon, uh, I played Toad as my like my watch. You know, you could pick a character to have on your watch and I picked Toad. I'm always I'm always down with Toad. And of course Mario's cool and everything, but Toad Toad is kind of a cool little character which I think deserves a little more attention, you know. But a really cool place. I love the little figures and everything. Looking good. And here we have the new Atari uh, Pro System. This is the Mario Arcade system. And what makes this great is the fact you guys know I have a lot of Atari games. I grew up on Atari. It was my first console when I was a teeny little kid. I was so lucky to have the first uh, 2600 on my block. I was always an early adapter. So uh, definitely out of my school friends and everything. I think I, I was the very first person I know that had an Atari. I love the arcades and I thought, okay, well, I want to play cool games at home too. And it was the best technology available at that time, you know? And what makes this system particularly noteworthy is the fact that this system here actually has a memory card slot. Okay, so not only does it have like 200, you know, Atari games kind of included in it, it has like an updated controller with RGB lighting and kind of a, a dial right there so you can play Tempest and rotary games like on the same controller, which is really cool. And two buttons, A button, B button. So you have a couple different button options and a kind of a trigger fire right there. Um, it's kind of a modern take on the classic Atari joystick. But what makes this really great, besides having all these games included, which is really cool, and it, it's interesting, this actually has a combination of, like, Atari, you know, 2600, 5200, and 7800, and arcade games on here, and it does have a bunch of extra bonus games as well. But what really makes me excited about this, honestly, is the fact that you can put a memory card in here, and you can, you em you can emulate from here. So that means this system here can really play pretty much anything. In fact, even though I haven't opened it yet, um, and I'm gonna open it soon, I've been spending days downloading ROMs, which is basically kind of like the computer file, which you find in arcade games and systems like the Super NES and Genesis and you know all these classic systems like you know Game Boys and all that type of thing. And I'm gonna use this as a super EMU rig, and I'm already downloading literally thousands. I have like one file, it's 6,000 arcade games, okay? So plus, you know, and so I could put all my favorites on here. My big question is, will I bog the system down with like every arcade game ever made and every Game Boy game ever made? and every, you know, Super NES, NES, Genesis, all those classic systems have them all in this one rig, or will I just make it, like, my very favorite things ever and have, like, the SIM card in there with my favorite games from, you know, 2600, 5200, 7800, Genesis, NES, Super NES, Game Boy, and then, of course, the arcade games, which I love, and the fact that you can put them all on one system, to me, is a huge, huge win, so this is a really cool system. I'm, I'm really excited to have this, and I'm, I've already been working on downloading extra games to put into it and that's what makes it special is that uh, there's a lot of ways you can play classic games like asteroids or centipede or pong or whatever but the fact that this system has a memory slot makes it hackable okay and you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with it and uh, that stuff includes you know emulation of classic arcade games so very very cool and that's a short list of everything I got for Christmas I also got some candles also got lots of candy food stuff had a fantastic holiday Holiday. And I hope you guys had an amazing holiday as well, okay? So definitely happy happy New Year's coming up. I'm filming this New Year's Eve, and of course Christmas was about a week ago today. So um, it's been a busy uh, work week for me and everything else. And I did try making this video once before, but I was having some problems with the memory card actually on my, my uh, 4K Sony camcorder, so I had to order a new memory card for it. So that took me an extra day or two for this as well. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this. If there's anything you'd like to see unopened, uh, are opened first uh, let me know in the comments below okay and uh, be sure and check out both my channels tux toys the channel you're watching this on and of course tux reviews my other channel which i may put this video on later as a like a follow-up video okay all right friends we'll talk to you soon merry christmas happy holidays <laughs> bye bye
Thank you.